Hello everybody and welcome back to Amnesia! In the last episode we were stuck in a closet and actually I already checked and I have to redo a little bit in the bedroom thing. I have to refine the crowbar and reopen that door. Anyway, we're back. My name's TDS Rock and we will be playing Amnesia for... I think I'll play it for about like uh, 40 minutes right here, but I'll split it up in two episodes properly so you, I'll actually like get a split in there that is with a good outro and everything. Because, let's see. Yeah, see, so this is still locked. Now, I'm seriously gonna go back and see if the crowbar had actually spawned um, earlier. So, I'll be doing that as well. So, you guys, if... Uh, actually, I'm gonna show the video footage of me entering this room and checking it earlier. I'm gonna kill him with this. If I find him. Snake! Where are you, Snake? Where is that stupid dude hiding? <sighs> hey, more notes. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? All right, wait. It was the revelations, right? Yes, no, it was this one. Sorry. Uh, wait. Uh, so I clicked this bit away. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp, abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the custom house. I don't know what I have to make of, but I'm worried for him. Okay. That's what I skipped. Sorry about that. So yeah, now you know. Uh, ooh, wait, bed. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes, I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. What? <laughs> hey, bit my room. My keyboard. So I was talking to one of my friends who watches this series, and he told me to like not skip the notes as much as I did. So what I'm gonna do when I do want to skip the notes, I'll just like have them on screen for like half a second or something, or a full second or something, so that even if I skip them, you can go back and like pause the video and read them if you really want to. And uh, that was that footage. So I'm hoping that you could see that it wasn't there. I sure as hell didn't see it. Um, and let's open this. Go. Get the animation. The key. Please let it be here. Let's just already get in here. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I just... Oh God. Oh god. Wow, he looks terrifying. Holy crap. Bye bye. So long, get by. Oh, he's just standing there. I think he just left. 
it sure as hell sounded like. Yeah, he did. Sweet. Not good that he's now in this area, though. <laughs> Fourth of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Well, even though it's perfect, um, I know that the, in the Roman times, I believe it was, they created the pillars, like these pillars for their buildings. And in the other, like on the bottom side, they had wood on it. And that wood was, like if you'd opened it now, it would still like perfectly intact. Thus proving that there was no air uh, accessing that area to I had a hand here or was it just the door oh well. thus proving that the oh thank god there it is i guess it is a good place to hide it then anyway uh <laughs> just found that that's cool what is that oh i know what to do oops i wanted to throw it in the closet um but the, the wood was perfectly intact, meaning that it just wasn't damaged at all. It's like, meaning there wasn't any air, so that it, it, the area must have stayed with the exact same air. Pretty much vacuum. Well, not vacuum, there's just no space for the air. Anyway, that means that they had perfect ways to, like, sand their marble or whatever. I don't know. So, perfect things already existed then. Because they just had carpenters or whatever who thought they were able to do that really, really good. Anyway, we can now enter the machine room. Woo. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> um, I don't have any oil still, do I? No, I don't. Great. Uh, oh, I actually need to use the key? Great. That's, that makes sense. Professor Taylor is the second death caused by. I've seen that a few times before now. I think they're they're just recycling them now. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> so let's take a look over here. Huh? On our travels, we close all the doors behind us. Fifth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. You kill the man. My asking is... Crap, this is where the rods come in play, don't they? Uh, no. Oh. <sighs> Crap, we're both gonna find some intel on how that is supposed to go. I think I'm getting a bit more sanity problem over here. Sweet. Some tinder boxes lying around. It's useful. I prefer some oil. 
is that it's mobile, but it's temporary. But still, it's mobile. So I can use it when I need it to. Alright, looks like there's nothing. I, I just wonder. I'm just gonna... Uh, let's see. Is there a pattern in this? There's gotta be a pattern in this. Five switches, right? That's a few down. And you down. And you up. Actually, you up. You up. Uh, nah, okay. We're, there's probably just some information about it. Screw it. Let's see what's over here. Can't interact. Nothing. Great. Love finding nothing. God, this area is spooky. I'm happy of the amount of ow, light there is, though. It makes it makes me think there's nothing gonna happen that's bad but of course I know now how these games work they try to make you feel safe and then fuck you over alright come on I need there's gotta be something here there we go dinner boxes it's at least something and a wheel. Trans... Uh, these are amplitude rods. Yeah, that's what they do. Alright. And there's a circle one. Now that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for elevator machinery, make sure that you only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the interstellar rooms in case all three would crack again. Inner study rooms. I've been there. Oh, wait, wrong button. Hold on. Yeah, find another way around the rubble in the study. That's what I needed to do as well. Ah, 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. Fuck. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which the most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Interesting. He's going a little bit nuts. Stupid barrel. You guys hear that? That, like... I gotta think it's like a dragon. It's, it's just... I am. I don't know what that is. It sounds like a dragon to me, but I don't know. That'd be kind of weird in this game. I, I don't expect a dragon to just show up. That's a dark room. Look at all these boxes. There's got to be a reason for these boxes to be around here. I, they just be that you can see what the area is. All right, there's a note. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. 
Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Okay. Machinery needs more work before it will run. What's going on? Why is... Okay. I'll just light this place up a bit. this one do? Oh. Okay, so I need to chuck something in there. What would this do? This just runs. There's a missing cog wheel to be fitted. Oh, fuck at me. Seen two back here. This one. I believe there was one in here. Yeah, there it is. What was that? What? Why did that happen? Why did he just... Sh Why did he just scream? What was that? That that actually kind of frightened me. I just want to quickly check up here. Just in case there's one in here. So that I can immediately take it with me. Uh, nope. I don't like the fucking ambiance. It's frightening. It really is. Uh, close that door. I don't like all those noises. I was like, what? And there's the last one. Cool. Just, just listen to that ambiance. It's going crazy. I don't like that. There we go. And the last one. Sweet. Now, what will you do? Question. Balls. Good need. Uh, huh. What is this? Okay, wait. So that spins because I do that. And that spins, then through magic, that one spins, then that one spins, then that one spins, that one spins, that one spins. I guess it does something here, which I think will burn something, and go in here. And I don't. Okay. This looks like gunpowder. Puzzles. Uh. Wait, what are these? Oh, I gotcha. Anything here for me? This contains a full refill worth of oil. <gasps> Yay! 
Oil oh, for days, oil oh, for days. Alright, so we put that in there, we close this, we burn we burn it up. Burner needs more coil. Coal. Oh. I guess we're just gonna have to stuff it. With coal. Just grab as much as we can. And oh. <laughs> Thank you. And we will test this thing out in the next episode, and um, because I, I, I'm not exactly sure. Let me just—I kind of want to check how long this episode's been recording. So I kind of forgot to put it on screen for me how long I've been recording. But I, th I think this is a decent part. And if this isn't—if re this is really short, the next one will automatically be quite long. So this is the end of this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you really did—if you enjoyed it, then leave a like or a comment or both. And uh, that's all. Goodbye.